binge reading is the new binge watching. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, keep watching to find out why I am on book 13 of a 14 book series. Hey, this is Kyla Denayo and welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. Today we are discussing the book called Lying Eyes. This book was written by Julie Mulharm. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is rom-com or just literature. This book had a really important twist to it and you have to know the entire history of Ellison Russell and her new fiance Anarchy to really understand it, right? It's fascinating. Please go and look up the entire series and read it. It's absolutely fascinating. However, <laughs> Ellison is managing a bank because her daughter inherited it and the daughter is a minor and so because she can't run the bank Ellison is running it and she finds out that the female employees are making substantially less money than the male employees. Now the series is set back in the 1960s and it's really really sad to think that we are still dealing with pay inequalities that we've been fighting for from back in the 60s. And so this was a really good part of the story where I had to like keep stopping and write down points or questions or all these things about it. And it's where Ellison is talking to one of the managers of the bank and she goes, why is this lady earning such a low wage? And he's like, oh, well, women are only here for a short amount of time. They get married, they leave, and we have to keep retraining them. It's a book, but if it was a movie, I imagine Ellison's face is like, what's that gotta do with her? And he's like, Women, they get pregnant, they leave, they do all this. Men have to provide for their entire family. So that's what we pay them more because the men are gonna be here. You know, they're here working while their wives are out being pregnant or having kids or all the rest. So why would we pay women when we have to just keep retraining when we hire new people? So this logic is absolutely terrible, <laughs> right? It's a very troubling logic. But the thing is, this has been going on for years. I mean, I'm sure this is some of the rationale for why women make less money than men. So it's a lot, there's there's a lot of different things here, but that part of the book I really love because Ellison like dug her feet in. And so while I call that a subplot to the story, it truly wasn't a subplot because Ellison discovered the first body in the book in a thrift store. And when she found the body, she also bumped into someone who worked at her bank and then she was like why are you shopping at the thrift store oh it's because you earn such low wages so it really was a true part of the plot the fact that she ended up having to confront this bank manager and be like this is my bank i'm a woman who owns it my daughter's going to inherit it she's a woman treat the women fairly right and that rolls right into why this part of the book was so important to me because this is a really big issue and as the employer you just have to take on certain risks. You have to take on certain expenses. And those expenses are training. Those expenses are recruiting. Those expenses are hiring, all of those things. And whether someone is leaving because they had a baby or because they're they're going to take care of the rest of their family or they just don't need to work, you cannot penalize the employees because of that. You can't, you cannot. <laughs> so I really love that part. Um, would I reread the book? Yes. I am truly enjoying this series. I just heard that book 14 of the book came out. So I cannot wait to get my hands on that book and read that one and see what else is happening in the series. So yeah, I would definitely reread this book. So that was today's discussion of the book Lion Eyes. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment. Let me know if you read anything by Julie Mohorn or if you've read this murder mystery series. It's really cute which is weird to say for a murder mystery series but um the underlying romantic story of the main characters is adorable so yeah if you have read anything let me know and i will see you next time on kyla's reading day bye